And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, so here is this defensively gifted fighter. It certainly has some offense as well, but more often than not, that offense is set up by his sound defense. He uses movement beautifully, uses his defense to create offensive angles. This guy can stick and move with the best of the man, and even when you think you have him in a bad position, more often than not, swivels that head off of the center line and counters you right in the jaw. So an outstanding defensive striker, very good counterattacks, and a very interesting matchup in front of him tonight. This guy has some of the best defense I've ever seen inside the octagon, and they say that defense is the best offense. Well, when we talk about sound defensive fighters, that conversation oftentimes begins with Dominic Cruz, but I'm gonna enter this guy in the discussion because he sticks and moves with the best of them, gets the head off the center line, uses footwork and movement and defense to set up his own offense, and he stays so relaxed in there, Joe, because his defense is that sound and uses that defensive movement to create offensive angles. Very, very smart, sound defensive fighter who uses that to his advantage and figures to do that again tonight. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do is utilize his footwork, his takedown defense, and land hard strikes to get the victory. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, some differences in height and reach. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. It's an easy push. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Jeff this man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Hollywood, California, the King! You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is gonna go down right now. All right, here we go. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. That one hurt. Swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Body kick, look at that. How about that chin? Oh, yeah, these are so what you say about my mother punches. Oh, very nice. Joe, pretty good head movement to slip that right hand. He blocks the punch. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Both guys... Oh! Oh! starting to 
snap off that jab. Good combination so far from both men. Oh, Hit him hard with that hook. Hands right to the target, Joe. Oh! But again, as soon as he absorbs another strike, that thing figures to open right back up. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. What an action-packed round. It looked like it almost ended on multiple occasions. All right, let's get to round two. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Slips. Tagged him. That cut on his eyebrow. 
eyebrow is getting worse. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Crank right on the jaw. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop for this contest at 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by... So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.